Mmm, tastes like a bad sign. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 2, Born Under a Bad Sign episode. This is the one that I've been looking forward to seeing for a while, and I actually in fact watched it twice. I watched it about like two weeks ago and then didn't get around to reviewing it, so I watched it again just to make sure. This episode was a pretty big episode at the time. Obviously now, considering how many times there's been possessions and switcheroos and all that in this show, it's not as big of a womb moment for people who have watched the show as much anymore, but when this happened, I was thinking, what the hell happened? How did Sam do what he did? What is going on? And then when it turned out that he was possessed and then he went bad Sam, turned out to be Meg, this was actually a really cool episode. And while it didn't come from this episode in particular, like many of us, including myself, thought the anti-possession tattoo, it was shown later in the season, but this tattoo is the one tattoo I almost considered getting. And I'm glad I didn't because with how the show is now, I would hate having it. This episode is obviously about Sam being possessed by a demon, but you don't know that. All you're doing is following the breadcrumb trail after Sam kind of went incognito for a week and Dean and Sam are kind of picking up the pieces of what Sam did, including killing a hunter. And then we find out that he's possessed. Dean is trying to fight the idea of trying to not kill his brother, even though his dad told him that if Sam ever goes bad, he has to put him down. And Dean is trying to come to terms with that. All the while, Meg is having a fun ride with Sam. And there's this really cool interaction between him and Joe as bad Sam as he slowly dips into it. And he talks about how Joe's father died. It's a very uncomfortable scene, but it's very well done between the two actors. And it's some of Jared Padalecki's best acting, I would say, because sometimes when he went bad, it wasn't as good, it was kind of corny, but he definitely does a bad better than Jensen does a bad. And that has definitely been made evident with Michael. Season 14, Evil Dean, like Demon Dean wasn't that great. And then Michael Dean wasn't that great. It's just a different variation of Jensen doing a darker, broodier voice. Evil Possessed Sam is an actual different character, so Give credit where credit is due. Jared does a great job as being an evil possessed version of himself. So in the end, I'm gonna give Born Under a Bad Sign a five out of seven. It doesn't have as much of a woo as it used to. It's still a good episode. It's just not as one of my favorite ones as it used to be. Great dynamic between the two brothers, don't get me wrong. In terms of the retrospective of the rest of the season, it is not one of the pillars. It is a very important episode and it's a good episode, but I feel that five is a pretty, you know, reasonable score. And like last episode, I asked you guys for comments about this episode, so let's read some off. Oh, there's only three. Born Under a Bad Sign is easily one of my favorite episodes of the season. It starts with the disappearance of Sam and how Dean was getting really stressed out. The quick cuts when he's on the phone embrace that idea. The whole plot twist with Sam actually being possessed the whole time totally caught me off guard. This episode also had Bobby, and it was this first episode that really made me him my favorite character of the show. Also, the foreshadowing to how Joe was going to die was so expertly written, in my opinion, as well. This episode is some of my favorite acting, especially from Jared. You are correct, obviously, with Jared's acting. For Joe, for foreshadowing, I didn't really pick that up, but it's cool that you saw that. Born Under a Bad Sign is understandably a favorite episode for Sam and Jared fans. It's fun waiting for the mystery to unravel as we watch Sam act out so out of character, smoking and drinking malt liquor, haha, <laughs> killing a hunter, knocking Dean out and attacking Joe with the exciting with an exciting conclusion at Bobby's house. My favorite part is when Sam creepily sings songs to Joe that my daddy shot your daddy in the head. Very chilling moment. Yeah, I agree with that. That's a very good part. Jared really showed his acting chops as Sam being possessed by Meg. He or she was really creepy messing with Joe. During the episode, it described to Joe how, fa how her father actually died. Sam, while being possessed by Meg, tells her that her father, father was used as bait. And while he and John Winchester were hunting a monster together, he tells her that their father died, trying to hold his insides in. It was the same way that Joe ultimately dies in Season 5, Episode 10. Yes, you're correct, actually. Okay, now I get the reference. As usual, Bobby is a badass and Dean is a great brother. Alright, so the next episode is Tall Tale, so make sure to give me your guys' comments about that. I would like to read off more than just three, so hopefully you guys, you know, can give me some more comments because, you know, it's all COVID. We're all stuck inside. Look how nice and sunny it looks outside right now. You're not supposed to go out in it. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. 
It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.